Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 25th to the 31st, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. Also, all the information is in the description box below of how to book a reading, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. All right, Virgo, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. Guide this reading and show them clearly, angels. We are crowned with the with justice reversed okay so not all things are fair this week we have the nine of swords so worry we have the magician as above so below we have the knight uh, not the knight the page of swords angels and spirit guides show me clearly now we have the knight of pentacles that's us coming through we are represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana, we have temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. The uh, justice card is Libra energy, angels, and spirit guides. We have the seven of pentacles, the five of pentacles, angels, and spirit guides. Show me clearly. The king of swords. Oh, and the queen of swords. Okay, they're going right together, as they should be. The five of swords and the queen of cups okay awesome 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 let me make sure everything is in frame it is that's great okay so what i love is whenever we have the king and the queen from the same deck you know coming forward that's a soulmate connection true love connection this is truth coming forward this is truth this is this is speaking your mind it's, it's very interesting because you have both the the like justice cards law cards okay justice is reverse so might mean that things necessarily aren't necessarily going exactly your way you don't feel like everything is in balance this could also be like a loss of a court case or things being postponed or you know kind of like people being sneaky and you're like is there ever even going to be justice so being aware of that is going to be important here but then we have temperance coming into play which is like the truth comes forward and then you have the king and the queen of swords so the truth comes forward but there's also a fierceness to you okay if you're looking for somebody like romantically speaking you are going to find somebody who just has a way with words okay not they're not liars okay because you're really not into lying but they have a way with words they have this beautiful you know connection with language so being aware of that this beautiful way of telling stories that's going to be a really i, I see that as just stunning it's just going to be stunning there is this real sense as as you believe it so it becomes with the magician as above so below so let's see what spirit has to say now if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading there are three things that you have to do you have to like you have to comment with a butterfly so i know you want to be in the running and you have to subscribe and once you do those things you will be entered to win a free reading and the winner is announced on sundays so good luck to everyone angels and spirit guides show me clearly here we have the sermon be very discerning during this time what energy you want in your life what energy you don't want in your life you know it's kind of like 
You might be thinking, here, Virgo, I'm being too picky. You're not. So being aware of this is going to be a very important thing. It moves us through a chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. This is the inner child. Your inner child is talking to you like nobody's business. Okay, you're going to feel very nostalgic during this time. You're going to have a lot of things that remind you, well, that's nostalgia, right? But remind you of the past, of what you really loved when you were little. You're going to be like, oh, I loved doing that when I was when I was younger. And oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was one of my favorite things. Or even with food, it's like, oh, that was my favorite food. You can even, you know, find that like somebody is selling food that you loved and you're like, oh, I didn't ever think I could have this again, you know, type of thing. So that would be really cool. Or you find how to make something and you're like, oh, I didn't know I could make it taste like as good as it was when I was little. And let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of, angels and spirit guides. Ah, of course, it falls on the floor. Give me one minute. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, we are represented again by the Pentacles in the Minor Arcana. What we have to be mindful of is not listening to the vibrational energy of things, meaning that our discernment is going to be high and we're going to be thinking, wow, I'm being a snob or I'm being too picky or I'm being too this or I'm being too that. And it's like, no, remember to be discerning. <laughs> That's going to be really important. We can also think like, oh, that person's so successful. I should be just like that. I should be doing that. I should be doing this. And this is really saying here, no. Embracing your voice, embracing your fire, embracing your power, that is going to be what is most important for you during during this week. And it's the embracing of your voice. It's embracing what is super important to you and knowing that your voice matters. With Justice Reverse, Libra Energy, time frame, September 23rd to October 22nd. Libra, you could be born on the cusp with Libra. If you are or you have Libra in your chart, it's not really like it's not the most comfortable energy for you right now. So do be mindful about that. That part of your personality, you might be like, oh, I don't understand why this is causing me so much trouble. And then you you look up your birth chart, which you can do on, I think it's Cafe Astrology or astrologycafe.com. And you can see where your where Libra falls in your chart, if you know it falls in your chart. And then you'll be like, oh, that makes all the sense in the world. So just being aware of that, that's going to be an important thing. Not everything is going to be balanced and we're not going to be balanced. We're going to feel very much like I'm searching for something more. I, I'm seeking out things. We're also going to be learning that some things just aren't fair. And we'll be like, well, why did that happen? That wasn't fair. And it like, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. What happened, it was supposed to be a catalyst to push you forward, to get things moving and changing. So being aware of that. Worry and fear. Just, just being mindful of overthinking things, you know, thoughts keeping you up at night you know, worry, fear, kind of being on a ha hamster wheel, really working on meditation, really working on calm activities that can center your energy, center yourself. That's going to be very, very important for this week. The magician, again, as above, so below, as you believe it, so it becomes. Knowing that you are blessed, knowing that you have gifts, standing before the, your, the altar of your existence and claiming what is rightfully yours and not putting yourself down. That's going to be really, 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 really important. I, can I say more reallys during this week? Because there's a sense here of I don't see my own magic. Other people do. Other people will be like, well, why are you here? Why are you doing this? You know, but I don't see my own magic. Now it's time to start to see it. It brings us to the, the page of swords. Now, if you have air sign energy in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, my gosh, do they play a big part? Probably not the Libra so much. <laughs> okay, so Gemini and Aquarius just know that all right and you can also find yourself attracted to a gemini or an aquarius just just putting that out there if you're interested if you're not interested in romantic attraction then it's also like making really good business partners or you know friends or or whatever it's just a lot of air sign energy and we can we can put libra back in there but i do see that that's like kind of more pushed off to the side the page of swords is needing to connect with your inner child self which virgo you're doing brilliantly and needing to connect with the power of your voice what brought you happiness? What brought you joy? Embracing your voice, embracing your tenacity, embracing your success, because you're slowly and steadily moving towards prosperity. This is also earth sign energy, right? This is you. It's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So that comes through very, very powerfully here. If you have an air sign energy in your life who is younger, 
right? A Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius, you're going to find that they say things that get you thinking. They say things and you're like, oh, why not that? Why not this? And it's going to be like the weirdest way that something really profoundly beautiful comes about for you. It moves us then to temperance. It moves us to a place of balance, to a place of harmony, to a place of love. This is also Sagittarius energy, time frame November 22nd to December 21st. And it brings us patience. Like as we're finding this balance within ourselves, it builds a patience. And as it builds a patience, we're looking at the, the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is a sense of I'm not worthy. And yet you then have the king and the queen of swords, which is like, are you kidding me? You cannot be a swordsman. You cannot be good with the sword if you do not practice. And if you are not worthy, you, you will not be able to do it. You know, I, I mean, that sounds very, you know, kind of like Excalibur type of thing, but that's the energy that I'm getting here. You know, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get far if you weren't meant to. And here with the five of swords, it's kind of keeping yourself out in the cold. It's like, there's a huge key and it's like, but, but I can't open the door. It's like, yes, you can pick up the key, unlock the door, unlock the door. And we'll be thinking, but the door is supposed to be open. It's like, who said? Others have unlocked the door. Others have broken down the door. Others, you know, took a spoon and tunneled under, you know, to get through. But we think, oh, it was easier for them. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Embrace your fierceness. The sword is the only weapon in the tarot. It is fierce and it is powerful. You are fierce and you are powerful. It's time to start to see yourself this way. Be mindful of your words though. They can be sharp and they can be cutting. So just be aware of that. You can have very fierce words during this time and, and that can be a lot. So just be aware of that. With the five of swords, you're not the same person you were. You're not. You're very different from where you were five years ago. Let's go with five because five years being repeated, that is a freedom number. We are moving towards our freedom of sovereignty and self. You're not the same person you were five years ago. Embrace your extraordinariness. And it moves us then to the Queen of Cups. Water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay? This is moving forward in love and in gentleness. It's very interesting because you have the most feminine of the queens, the Queen of Cups, and the most masculine of the queens, the Queen of Swords. And yet, that's going to be a dichotomy that very much attracts you during this time, Virgo. In your own personality, being both astoundingly nurturing and astoundingly fierce, but also in the outside world, you, you like that dichotomy of nurturing and fierce. And just knowing that during this time, it's like, okay, that's what I feel comfortable with. Our subconscious spirit message is rediscovery. And that's what this, this time is all about. You're rediscovering yourself. You're rediscovering your passions. You're rediscovering your beauty and your harmony and your, your loveliness. It moves us then to the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. This is divine wisdom. This is wisdom guiding us forward, leading us to so much more. It brings us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is the three of wands. Be mindful that certain, you know, pathways have opened and they might seem like, oh, well, this is a really good idea or, oh, well, this is easier, but it's not right for you. And you need to listen to yourself energetically speaking to you. You're, you're screaming on the inside, Virgo, and you need to listen to it. And it moves us then to our subconscious spirit message. It's balance. It is bringing things into balance. And it's knowing that emotionally, if we do not listen to our hearts, we will not be in balance. The queen of cups is listen to your heart, connect with what you love, build and nurture what it is that you desire and do so slowly and calmly. Everybody doesn't need to see you in a world where we're trying to be so flashy, right? Everybody's trying to be so flashy, flexing, you know, oh, look how great I am. Be quiet. Be quiet and build it. Be quiet and be dedicated. You will be shocked, Virgo, at the places you go to, at what you succeed. All right. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
may you move forward in peace and in harmony. Virgo, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a blessed week. Bye.